approximately 10.45 a.m. this morning, the FBI arrested former Stoughton police officer Matthew Farwell for allegedly taking the life of Sandra Birchmore in order to ensure her silence. The FBI SWAT team took him into custody at a shopping plaza in Revere without incident. Simply put, this case is about seeking justice for Sandra, who we believe was killed by Matthew Farwell after he allegedly groomed and sexually abused her when she was just 15 years old, violating her body and her civil rights. It's also about keeping Mr. Farwell from getting away with murder and from harming anyone else. Matthew Farwell's gun and badge did not grant him authority to violate the Constitution, and it certainly didn't entitle him to sexually exploit, abuse, and rape a child before killing her and her unborn baby in an attempt to cover up his alleged crimes. Mr. Farwell, it is alleged in these court papers, started to lose his patience, lose his temper, and the six foot four inch Mr. Farwell started to be physically violent with four foot ten inch Senator Birchmore. And Senator Birchmore told her friends that Mr. Farwell had pushed her and shoved her and put her in a chokehold. She was scared. And during that same time, Mr. Farwell was allegedly planning Senator Birchmore's murder. And then it all came to a head on February 1st, 2021. Mr. Farwell went over to her apartment that evening and he strangled Senator Birchmore to death. That's the allegation in this case. And he used his knowledge and experience as a law enforcement officer to stage her death to look like a suicide. He allegedly attempted to cover his tracks to literally try and get away with murder. And he almost did until today. Back in 2021, with the information that was available, Senator Birchmore's death was ruled a suicide, or deemed a suicide. But over the last year or so, the FBI and our office have been working exhaustively with our state partners. And we've uncovered new, critical new information, examined the existing information, all of which led to this federal grand jury indictment. If convicted on this charge, Mr. Farwell faces a minimum of life imprisonment. It's, it's, it's unusual in my experience. I don't, I don't have a, a full handle on how often this has been done nationwide, but it's an unusual situation, it's, and, and that's uh, partly why it's so incredibly disturbing.